Wildlife watchers have a chance to spot one of the rarest birds along the east coast in the wooded area at the University of Florida. Experts say Gainesville's newest feathered friend is a one-in-a-million picturesque yellow cardinal. While there are an estimated 15 million red cardinals across the eastern U.S., making it one of the most common birds in the wild, there are just 10 to 15 yellow cardinals flying around the region. I don't know how many cardinals I have seen, maybe thousands, said Andy Cratter, the ornithology. This is the first yellow cardinal I have seen. The newest wildlife attraction has been spotted near campus for several weeks. It has a vibrant yellow body with a black mask around its eyes and beak. The early morning sunlight enhances its brightness against the spring green foliage of the area. The male canary-colored cardinal can be easily confused with the endangered yellow cardinal of South America, but there are significant differences, experts say. North American cardinals are born with a brown or grayish color and will develop a more colorful plumage upon leaving their nests within the first month. The color comes from carotenoid pigments derived from the foods cardinals eat, explains Mark Hostetler, a professor in the Department of Wildly. The yellow pigments are later converted to red by a specific enzyme in their bodies. If the enzyme is missing, the cardinal will be yellow instead of red, Hostetler said. It's probably a rare genetic mutation, affecting fewer than one in a million, he said. So what brought this feathered anomaly to Alachua County? Cratter believes the bird, which some have referred to as Tweets, was born among the latest round of cardinal babies close to Oof's natural area teaching laboratory toward the end of 2021. Most cardinals have a lifespan of about three years. The bird, which can be best spotted in the early morning hours, can often be found seen on the ground foraging for seeds and other foods or fluttering around, chirping in the wind while seeking a mate. The likelihood of reproduction is largely unknown for these mutant birds. But a similar bird found in Alabama during 2019 may have ended those questions, 